Why don't you ask yourselves the real questions? The real questions. Why, why, why? Why, why, why do I care? Do I care what I am, what I am? If you stop caring what you are, if you stop caring what you are in an agreement to the material world, and an agreement to the material world, you can become what you are. You can become what you are in a new way, in a new way, an articulation, an articulation of the unnamed, of the unnamed, the Christ you see. The Christ you see as emblematic, as emblematic of expression, of expression is a naming, is a naming of an aspect, of an aspect of something too vast, of something too vast to be known, to be known what can be known, what can be known as form, as form, in agreement, in agreement with the divine, to the divine is known as Christ, is known as Christ, or articulation, or articulation of source, of source in manifestation, in manifestation now in the world. Now in the world you design, you design a manifestation, a manifestation of what you think is supposed to be there, is supposed to be there, everything erected, everything erected, every sign painted, every sign painted is emblematic, is emblematic of knowing and naming, of knowing and naming a thing that is a building with two stories, that is a building with two stories, that is a sign that says Baker, that is a sign that says Baker, that is a house I live in, that is a house I live in, and because identification, and because identification, emblematic, emblematic and named, and named is decided by the collective, is decided by the collective, you shed a language, you shed a language with which, with which to identify, to identify your surroundings, your surroundings and yourselves, and yourselves, what you do for a living, what you do for a living and what it means to be alive, and what it means to be alive, to matter, for it, for it, not to matter, not to matter is to decide, is to decide that everything simply is, that everything simply is in its isness, in its isness, its beingness, its beingness, you may see anew, you may see anew. Now, language is essential. Now, language is essential at this stage of your development. At this stage of your development, we operate in language. We operate in language, simply put, simply put to so this discussion, so that this discussion can be comprehended, can be comprehended by the literal mind, by the literal mind, the aspect of self, the aspect of self that likes to put the building blocks, that likes to put the building blocks in one piece, in one piece, and call it a house, and call it a house, or a bakery, or a bakery, you like order, you like order, you like sequence, you like sequence, and we have given you text and we have gifted you texts that are in sequence, that are in sequence, you may be able to them, so that you may be available to them, as you can comprehend, as you can comprehend with language. With language we instruct, we instruct, but in vibration, but in vibration we know, we know in the knowing of the vibration, and the knowing of the vibration that we instill in you, that we instill in you is the broadcast you experience, is the broadcast you experience with the claims of truth, through the claims of truth that have been encoded by us, that have been encoded by us for the manifestation, for the manifestation of the divine in form, of the divine in form language here. Language here is utilized, is utilized as a catalyst, as a catalyst in sound, in sound, the verbiage we use, the verbiage we use and the intent behind the language, and the intent behind the language is supported, is supported by one note, by one note, one true note, one true note that expresses itself, that expresses itself in very different ways, in very different ways. So the vibration, so the vibration that you may experience, that you may experience with the claim I know him, through the claim I know who I am is of the same source, is of the same source or expression, or expression as the claim, as the claim I have come, 
I have come, the manifest self. The manifest self, the being that you are, the being that you are is already in tone, is already in tone. Anything has been named. And anything that has been named, that has taken form, that has taken form in an articulated state is also in resonance, is also in resonance when something is in resonance. When something is in resonance, it is in expression and can be known and can be known through the sound through the sound, the tone, the tone, the oscillation, the oscillation of the vibration, of the vibration that it has taken, that it has taken. When you look at a thing, when you look at a thing, you experience a thing, you experience the thing by the name, by the name it has been given, it has been given. That is a rock, that is a rock, that is the moss upon the rock, that is the moss upon the rock. Perhaps you don't know the name of something, perhaps you don't know the name of something, but then you will seek to describe it, but then you will seek to describe it through a comparable name, through a comparable name that looked like a mushroom, that looked like a mushroom, perhaps it was not, perhaps it was not, but it is of the mushrooms, but it is of the mushrooms in likeness, in likeness that I have known, that I have known when things are known, when things are known and named, and named, they are manifest, they are manifest in agreement, in agreement to the octave, to the octave of expression, of expression that they abide in, that they abide in, everything you see around you, everything you see around you has causation, has causation, be it the man, be it the man who made that building, who made the building, the woman, the woman who planted the seeds, who planted the seeds, or what claimed the seeds, or what claimed the seeds in the first place, in the first place, causation, causation informs matter, informs matter, and matter itself, and matter itself in resonance, in resonance is the material landscape, is the material landscape that can be made new, that can be made new through your interaction with it, through your interaction interaction with it as a tone, as a tone, a note, a note, an oscillation, an oscillation, a vibration that claims things, that claims things in like a chord, in like a chord. Now, because each of you here, now because each of you here is in transition, is in transition, that the field that, taken, that the field that you have taken is an oscillation now, is an oscillation now as it attempts, as it attempts attempts to be in commerce, to be in commerce with the upper room, with the upper room, what can I get in the upper room, what can I get in the upper room, how can I stay, how can I stay, as if there is a hotel concierge, as if there is a hotel concierge about to give you the room you like, about to give you the room you like, or say there is no room left, or say there is no room left in the upper room, in the upper room, which is simply a field, which is simply a field of tone and vibration, of tone and vibration, of the divine what? That the divine what may be expressed in, may be expressed in while in form, while in form, in a shared landscape, in a shared landscape that you know of as a world, that you know of as a world, the claim that you may make, the claim that you may make upon the world, upon the world I have come, I have come, translates your vibration, translates your vibration to the vibration, to the vibration at its core self, at its core self. What does that mean? What does that mean? Did I miss here? Did I miss here at the level of causation? At the level of causation, that which makes the rock the rock, that which makes the rock the rock is the word. Do you understand this? Do you understand this? And the renewing of the rock, and the renewing of the rock as the divine, as the divine in action, in action and expression, and expression is what transforms the rock, is what transforms the rock, or indeed lifts it, or indeed lifts it to the higher oscillation, to the higher oscillation that is present as it, that is present as it. Now the tone you had. 
Now, the tone you emit in vibration, in, vibra in vibration, is predicated, is predicated on many things, on many things. You think about your feelings, you think about your feelings. I felt sad today, I felt sad today, perhaps I was, perhaps I was, I had a bad night's sleep, I had a bad night's sleep. Don't tell me anything important, don't tell me anything important, I'm not going to recall it, I'm not going to recall let the tone you hold. The tone you hold at these levels, at these levels, is simply put, is simply put an expression, an expression of an aspect of you, of an aspect of you that does not really matter, that does not really matter, except that you make it so, except that you make it so. To understand, to understand the consequence, the consequence of an emotional act, of an emotional act, is to simply say, is to simply say, because I was in a bad mood, because because I was in a bad mood, I said something I wished I hadn't. I said something I wished I had to realize myself, to realize this self beyond the one, beyond the one who knows herself as having a bad mood, as knowing herself as having a bad mood, as knowing herself, is to know the self in union, in union with the aspect of source, with the aspect of source that is present for you now, that is present for you now. It really is about identification. It really is about identification occasion above and beyond above and beyond the emotional idea the emotional idea that you would express through that you would express through those are ideas those are ideas and little more and little more the tone is held the tone is held the I am self the I am self I know who I am I know who I am through an operation through an operation of co-resonance of co-resonance the I am that you are the I am that you are in the higher field, in the higher field aligns itself, aligns itself to that which is of comparable energetic field, to that which is of comparable energetic structure, energetic structure. Understand this, friends. Understand this, friends. Again, the origin, again, the origin of all manifestation, of all manifestation is one note, is one note, one sound, one sound, one great sound, one great sound in articulation, in articulation as everything and nothing, as everything and nothing all at once, all at once, the crucible you face. The crucible you face in your daily lives, in your daily lives, as you have suffered so much, is you have suffered so much through the belief in separation, through the belief in separation and delineated separation, and delineated separation in such ways, in such ways that you pride yourselves, that you pride yourselves on the little that you get, on the little that you get, as if that is all that can be had, as if that is all that can be had. Imagine of employment. Imagine you have an employment, you are given two weeks off every year, you are given two weeks off every year, oh thank God, oh thank God I had two weeks off, I had two weeks off, my employer is so good, my employer is so good, I get to go to the beach, I get to go to the beach for two whole weeks, for two whole weeks, and then come back, and then come back, do what is expected of me, do what is expected of me, and perhaps again, and perhaps again, if my employer continues to keep me there, if my employer continues to keep me there, I will get another two weeks, I will get another two weeks, some other year, some other year, you benefit, you benefit from the two weeks, from the two weeks you benefit, you benefit from what is learned at the desk, from what is learned at the desk of the employer, of the employer when he says yes or no, when he says yes or no, when she says you may not take vacation, when she says you may not take vacation, but what you are getting, but what you are getting is what is allowed, is what is allowed at this strata, at this strata of vibration, of vibration, and because you don't see, and because you don't see or experience, or experience what is beyond the known world, what is beyond the known world, the no agreements, or the known agreements of how the world can be, of how the world can be, you do justify, you do justify the habituated efforts, the habituated efforts that you have incurred, that you have incurred, and the names things have been given, and the names things have been given, he interrupts.
He interrupts, what's the point of the teaching? What's the point of the teaching? We are getting there, friend. We are getting there, friend. And in a moment we'll tell you. And in a moment we will tell you when we begin this teaching. When we begin this teaching, we said, why does it matter? We said, why does it matter? The values, things have been given. The values, things have been given and form things. Inform things or endow them or endow them with property, with property, a diamond. A diamond is more valuable, is more valuable than a gemstone, than a gemstone is more valuable, is more valuable than a shard of broken wine bottle, than a shard of broken wine bottle. Do you understand this? Do you understand this, the value given? The value given and the names given, and the names given create a template, create a template for how things should be, for how things should be, if all things that matter, if all things that matter are one matter, are one matter or one source, or one source in articulation, in articulation you can begin to transform, you can begin to transform the material realm, the material realm to the high octave, to the high octave as you continue in this teaching. As you continue in this teaching, what you will discover finally, what you will discover finally is the malleability, is the malleability of the physical body, of the physical body and the physical landscape, and the physical landscape to thought, to thought. Now the small self's thought, now the small self's thought cannot move the mountain, cannot move the mountain. It will not happen. It will not happen. She will harm herself. She will harm herself in her effort to do so. In her effort to do so, what moves the mountain? What moves the mountain is realization, is realization and the realization and the realization that the matter that the mountain is, that the matter that the mountain is, is the same matter, is the same matter that the body you've taken as the body you have taken in vibration, in vibration or tone, or tone and the meeting of the tone, and the meeting of the tone of the first created note, of the first created note, the song or sound, the song or sound of the divine, of the divine in transmission, in transmission as the energetic body, as the energetic body that you have taken on, that you have taken on, claims the mountain, claims the mountain in like vibration, accord, in like vibrational accord, it becomes malleable, and it becomes malleable because it is reduced, because it is reduced to the sound, to the sound from whence it came, from whence it came. So a mountain is moved. So a mountain is moved by knowing the mountain, by knowing the mountain. Do you understand this? Do you understand this? Now, when you work with your partner, now when you work with your partner and you speak these words, and you speak these words that we have suggested, that we have suggested are encoded, are encoded with our vibration, with our vibration and realization, in realization of who and what you are, of who and what you are. You are not only speaking truth, you are not only speaking truth, because what is true, because what is true will always be true, will always be true. You are claiming, you are claiming the manifestation of truth, the manifestation of truth, to claim manifestation of truth, to claim the manifestation of truth is to announce it into being, is to announce it into being. The spoken word, the spoken word, the pronouncement, the pronouncement or articulation or articulation of form, of form, and the claim I know who you are, and the claim I know who you are is not only an agreement, is not only an agreement to who somebody is, to who somebody is in the higher octave, in the higher octave, but the claiming of them there, but the claiming of them there. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? You need to understand this. You need to understand this to give the value, to give the value to the intention, to the intention, and we use the word value, and we use the word value very carefully here, very carefully here, the value of the intention, 
the value of the intention is manifestation, is manifestation. You are not redecorating. You are not redecorating. You're not polishing a window. You are not polishing a window. You're not improving. You are not improving. You are not becoming better people, more attractive, more attractive, more liberty, more liberty. Liberty is what you claim, is what you claim when you know when you know, but that is not the gift of the teaching, but that is not the gift of the teaching, the gift of the teaching. The gift of the teaching is the realization, is the realization in manifestation, in manifestation of the divine, of the divine, the singular note, the singular note played out, played out in many keys, in many keys, in infinite chords, in infinite chords, in a vast symphony, in a vast symphony, you know of as creation, you know of as creation, the claim I know what you are. The claim I know what you are is not just agreeing, is not just agreeing to the divine as what, to the divine as what, it is the manifestation, it is the manifestation of it, which is why you experience it, which is why you experience it in the body itself, in the body itself as vibration, as vibration, the distortions you've operated in, the distortions you have operated in, the denial of the divine, the denial of the divine as form, as form is what is addressed, is what is addressed with this claim, as you can remember, that you give to another. So when you say, so when you say, I know what you are, I know what you are, the demand is made. The demand is made of the self, of the self that is seen, that is seen to be recreated, to be recreated in the upper room, in the upper room. He is interrupting with an urgent question. He is interrupting with an urgent question, but that overrides free will. But that overrides free will. You've never said that before. You've never said that before. It does not override free will. It does not override free will because what is being claimed, because what is being claimed is always so, is always so. Do you understand this? Do you understand this? If you take it to the beauty parlor, if you were to take her to the beauty parlor and give the woman a makeover, and give the woman a makeover, that requires her consent. That requires her consent. You know, it's beautiful to know her as beautiful, just as she is, just as she is, does not, does not. Do you understand the difference? Do you understand the difference? Your knowing of her beauty, your knowing of her beauty is what claims beauty, is what claims beauty as so, as so. And now the final claim. Now the final claim, I know how I serve. I know how I serve is the key here, is the key here, because the key, because the key is the song, is the song of embodiment, of embodiment that will follow, that will follow the service you bring. The service you bring through this claim, through this claim is the energetic body, is the energetic body in its transmission, in its transmission, and this aspect of self, and this aspect of self that knows who she is, that knows who she is in articulation, in articulation is what walks the world, is what walks the world as expressed, as expressed identity, identity form, form, expression, expression, those are the three steps, those are the three steps to the upper room, to the upper room, do you understand that? Do you understand that? The claim I am free, the claim I am free is the step across the cradle, is the step across the threshold, it's what sings you, it's what sings you into being, into being and in manifestation, and in manifestation, I am in the upper room, I am in the upper room, the cord in accumulation, the cord in accumulation, the claims themselves, the claims themselves rendered in simultaneity, rendered in simultaneity as the energetic body, as the energetic body, the identity, the identity and the physical form, 
out of the physical form accumulates, accumulates the vibratory cord, the vibratory cord as expressed, as expressed, and its expression, and its expression, I have come, I have come, is the manifest one, is the manifest one who expresses the room, who expresses in the upper room and lifts what she encounters to it and lifts what she encounters to it. Now this is as simple as it gets. Now this is as simple as it gets. We have broken down, we have broken down the entirety of the teaching, the entirety of the teaching that you have received thus far, that you have received thus far, but your experience of this, but your experience of this is what will make it so, is what will make it so. So the idea, so the idea, the excitement, and the excitement of feeling vibration, of feeling vibration while we encourage it, while we encourage it is only to get you, is only to get you to say yes, to say yes to the being of it, to the being of it. Of it. This is not a tourist attraction. This is not a tourist attraction. You may take this class. You may take this class. Perhaps forget you ever came. Perhaps forget you ever came. But the realization, but the realization of the divine as you, of the divine as you that has been come, that has been come and expressed and expressed will always be so, will always be so in your being, in your being, because the claim was made because the claim was made. Now, what does it mean? Now, what does it mean to be this in the world, to be this in the world? That's the question now. That's the question now. Imagine you wake up one morning. Imagine you wake up one morning. Nothing is as the small self would have it. Nothing is as the small self would have it. Perhaps you overslept. Perhaps you overslept. Perhaps the day is raining. Perhaps the day is rainy. Perhaps this is the news. Perhaps this is the news about the job. About the job you were hoping would never come. You were hoping would never come. Whatever you inform the day with. Whatever you inform the day with or give matter to or give matter to claims the day claims the day do you understand that do you understand that i overslept i overslept i did a bad thing i did a bad thing it's raining out it's raining out it is a bad day it is a bad day and then the news of the job and then the news of the job i got bad news i got bad news what makes bad news what makes bad news a bad day a bad day or a bad thing or a bad thing is the value you give it is the value you give it and not a thing more and and not a thing more, and if it doesn't matter, and if it doesn't matter, which does not mean you don't care, which does not mean you don't care, it means you address it, it means you address it in a higher way, in a higher way, you move into a higher accord, you move into a higher accord, the realization, the realization of the divine is the day, that the divine is the day, the divine is the news, the divine is the news, the divine is the oversleeping, the divine is the oversleeping, reclaims you, reclaims you in implicit order, in implicit order. Now this is a new concept. Now this is a new concept. Implicit order, implicit order. If the divine, if the divine expresses as everything, expresses as everything, it expresses, it expresses in all things, in all things, and that includes, and that includes the missed opportunity, the missed opportunity, the rainy day, the rainy day and the alarm clock and the alarm clock that chose not to go off that chose not to go off implicit order means implicit order means a realization the realization that in the upper room that in the upper room there is unfoldment there is unfoldment there is not effort there is not effort as you have known effort as you have known effort this does not mean this does not mean you don't get out of bed you don't get out of bed and go to the office and go to the office and have that discussion and have that discussion about the job about the the job you do as you must you do as you must but how you claim experience but how you claim experience in the upper room in the upper room is in alignment is in alignment to implicit order 
to implicit order. Implicit order. Implicit order simply means simply means that you are carried that you are carried by the truth, by the truth of your being, of your being in agreement, in agreement to the truth of what you encounter, of what you encounter. He has too many questions now. He has too many questions now. If I want to buy a house, if I want to buy a house, what do I do then? What do I do then? Sit and wait for the house to fall on me. Sit and wait for the house to fall on me. Is that implicit order? Is that implicit order? That is not implicit order. That is not implicit order. Here it is. Here it is. I am aligned. I am aligned to the perfect place to live, to the perfect place to live in the perfect circumstance, and the perfect circumstance for my growth and evolution, for my growth and evolution. I am aligned to my needs. I am aligned to my needs and the knowing of my needs and the knowing of my needs. I am aligned to the potential. I am aligned to the potential I receive that what I may receive may not be anything I might have thought, may not be anything I might have thought or agreed to or agreed to in personality, in personality, but I am being met, but I am being met by the requirements by the requirements for my living well, for my living well. Now, if you understand, now if you understand that everything we just claimed, that everything we just claimed was an edict of agreement, was an edict of agreement, you will understand, you will understand that you were not deciding, that you were not deciding what it should look like, what it should look like, how it should come, how it should come, what you should get, what you should get, and for how much, and for how much, those details those details were not required were not required because to require those details because to require those details requires you go back downstairs requires you to go back downstairs and get your calculators out and get your calculators out and decide your worth and decide your worth or your merit or your merit on an old basis on an old basis in the upper room in the upper room, you move to a kind of receptivity. You move to a kind of receptivity or allowance or allowance to the current of the frequency, to the current or the frequency or the frequency of the divine self, of the divine self who knows who she is, who knows who she is, what she is, what she is, and how she serves, and how she serves. And at this level of agreement, there is no anger. There is no anger at things not working out, at things not working out as you thought they must, as you thought they must, because the aspect of self, because the aspect of self that would decree that, that would decree that is not abiding, is not abiding in the upper room, in the upper room, if you wish to have the old response. If you wish to have the old response, you are being given an opportunity, you are being given an opportunity to release the attachment, to release the attachment to what you would have chosen, to what you would have chosen. She should have shown up on time. She should have shown up on time. She should, she should have kept my confidence. He should not have done that. Is the small self? Is the small self in its agreement? In its agreement to what should be? To what should be in the upper room? In the upper room, you know who you are. You know who you are and what you claim. And what you claim is in alignment. Is in alignment to the higher will. To the higher will. When we teach you will. When we teach you will, and we intend to, and we intend to, we will support your comprehension. We will support your comprehension as we are allowed. As we are allowed, we will take a pause for Paul. We will take a pause for Paul. We will return with questions shortly. We will return with questions shortly. Stop now.